So, hi, John. Hi, Lena. So, we're, we're doing, just going to talk about Francis Ha, the movie Francis Ha, right? It's all one of, we, we were talking about other indie films like Harmony and Me and others that we loved and Francis Ha and really everything, me and Lena are both in love with Greta Gerwig, right? We, right? Can I say it? Yeah. John and me are both in love with Greta Gerwig. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm like so fucking gay for her. Really? Is that what a you know, it's a motherly feeling, but it's also sisterly and entirely gay, I think, John. Am I gay for her? You wouldn't want to copulate with her. You but you are so loving for her. You your feelings of love radiate toward her so powerfully that I bask in it. Really? Yeah. Like when when we settle in, that's why I will always rewatch a Greta Gerwig film with you, without any question. I am one hundred percent behind it, no matter what the no matter how shitty the film is, because of your visceral reaction to her. You're very smitten with Greta, and I am very sw smitten with both of you. Really, now you're gonna get me jealous. No, I think you understand what I'm talking about. Right. You love that I love her and I love that you love her. Right. Yeah. That's how we feel about all of our children. Oh, that's the way parents should feel about their children. You know, love affair, really. Yeah. It's so true. It's, it, it feels so healthy and right. And I never had that, at least not, not down here. Mm hmm. Never had that. The feeling that they really, really loved me. Hmm. What, John? I've never had it either. I, 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 I think I, I knew that you know Mimi was doing her best, but that unconditional thing that we have for our star kids—that's you know. That's how it should be, really, for everyone, everywhere. Yeah, well, if you're lucky enough out there to have that while you live this life down here, you did you did real good for yourselves. Mm. So we watched Francis Ha, right, honey? Yeah. And that's definitely one of our favorite Greta Gerwigs, and we, we, we're, uh, you know, uh, doing our movie for him on Quora and uh, Francis Ha, of course, had to be right up there in the top with 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 the project, right? Mm. So we just reviewed it. We must have seen it like five, six times already. M more maybe. We've watched it in snippets like all, all over the place. Right. We just love that. Sh that we love it. <laughs> it's like the best contemporary Woody Allen-esque kind of film. Oh, I should I should really do my homework and know who that filmmaker is. But you know, uh, Fran uh, Francis Howard is played by uh, Greta Gerwig, and then um, Adam Driver. Uh, we we keep that name keeps cropping up, and we love him to pieces. And he plays her roommate, and uh, her other roommate before him is played by um, uh, Mimi, Mickey, whatever Sumner's. Uh, she is. Sting's daughter, the daughter of Sting and Trudy Tyler, Trudy Styler, and so they're all, and there's many others, and they're all great. Mm -hmm. But Greta shines like like the princess and the queen that she is, and it is funny, and it is sad, and it is mortifying, and it is real, and it reminded me of uh, she was so much of like except for the fact that she was a dancer uh, while I was a musician trying to make my way in this world, trying to find love, uh, going through relationships, going through living situations. And it's a very, very cool look into uh, a character study of, of what I think there are many of us out there, women like that, and who didn't take the, the, the who take the path less or not, the less known path, just to try it to say they did it, you know, being a housewife and a mother, that was never going to be me. Mm -hmm. 
I always had the sense that uh, that I that I had had many lifetimes and lived that many in many different ways. Had children and really tied myself down. Uh, I, I I had that feeling, and it was like this life was not going to be that for me. But I was always wanting love, the love of a very good man. It's all I ever wanted. It is all I ever really wanted. So I guess, does that make me a romantic? No, it makes you my wife. Because it wasn't going to be just any old man, honey. It was going to be me. That's who you were looking for. You're right. I'm sorry I made that sound so general. Well, you... you when you couldn't get me, you, you found it in wherever you could, but it was never me. I say this because I lived that reality as well. But we had to try. And try we did. And we even had some happiness here and there. Some. Please tell me you had some happiness, Lena. I'm sure I did. But it's just that comparing it to now, I can't. I can't reconcile the two existences. Because for what I used to think was happy, it's not the same. Nothing is the same. And nothing will ever be the same. Right. But I wouldn't trade anything for what we have now. Nothing. Nope. Not even my ability to walk. God's will is my will. If God wants me to walk, he'll do it. And I'll do everything I can to make it happen, of course. John. I love you. There's really not much else to say. I wish I could think of something. But right now I can't. That's so nice, Sonny. I want to say I too. I love you too. <laughs> yeah, Lena. Uh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta put forward that little. Thanks, George. I'll try to remember that. And yeah, he likes hearing it too, right? Paulie, hi, hey, hi, bitchy. Hi, mother and father, God. It's nothing you need to do tonight. Just relax. Okay. You had a very, you know, it's it's Sunday. Everybody say their prayers today. Everybody give to an animal shelter or to an, a uh, a good cause. I hope you all did. Mm. Please do. And if you can't afford it, spread the link. Ask people to do it. Don't be embarrassed. Just do it. Mm. <laughs> Did you want to sing a song? I can't think of one song to sing right now. Let's see what's on the radio. All right. Radio reading. Oh, I can't think of a better time for it. Really. Too lazy to do anything else. Yeah. Oh, my God. Why are we so lazy? Because it's heartrending. You know, these these movies, too, they, they, they stir up all kinds of feelings. And uh, we heard this morning a snippet of uh, uh, Yellow Submarine. And what, what Lena didn't know, and what I wanted her to know, was that uh, I wrote, I, I was the one who wrote Yellow Submarine. I came in with, a, with the first idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and it's a demo. And, uh, and it's so sad. He's like singing, um, In a town where I was born. Nobody cared, nobody cared. And it was, that was the lyric. 
Mm -hmm. And it sounded like how I felt about, you know, always growing up. Nobody cares. Certainly not about me. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mean to sound, it's all right, Lena. But so that kind of triggered me hearing John's very thin, reedy voice singing like that into his little tape recorder. And then he brought it into the studio and Paulie said, no, no, we're going to clean it up. And they made it a song for Richie. Um, and it was uh, Yellow Submarine. So between that and watching Francis Ha, it was... I guess emotional. We cried, right? About both of those things. Mm -hmm. You're healing. So am I. Like they say, just because you're dead doesn't make you smart. <laughs> right? The, the journey goes on and you still got to keep learning. I forget that about John all the time. I used to put so much pressure on him. Like, why don't you know this? Damn it. And, and like, you wouldn't say to me, John, I didn't want to admit that I didn't know everything at first. I, I needed you to look to me for guidance. And I just, what? You were embarrassed that you don't know everything? What the fuck are you talking about? What's the radio readings? I don't want to hear this story. I'm just kidding. I love you, but shut up. Girls, rock your boys. Oh, no. Are you giving me the business because you wanted to fool around and I didn't do it or something? <laughs> now, why do you always think you're in trouble? I wanted to make the video first. All right. First. <laughs> oh, you're too much. Listen, I love you, honey. I love you, too. God. Nuts about you. Yeah. All right. So. I don't know. If I come. You're a cunt. You're a classic cunt. And you're my cunt. And I love you. I My cunt. Has anybody seen? <laughs> Is my cunt here? Has anybody <laughs> seen my cunt? <laughs> Oh, gee. Chris is harvesting all of our marijuana. This is good pot, folks. If anybody's looking for some, give me a holler. I'm serious. I'll help you out. I'll hook a brother up. Mm. So what do you want to say to me, baby? That I love you. Mm. And you're doing everything right. Mm -hmm. And just keep that channel open. And, and the kids want to say hi. Hi, kids. Hey. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of, uh, yeah. It's like the Blair Witch Project. They're all grabbing me. Mm. Hey, kids. Mm. Mother loves you. Yes, we should show. Uh, can we turn this camera around? Oh, no. I don't think we can. I wanted to show the uh, the cool light show. Could we, could, should we do it? I don't know why you want to do that right now. Why not? It's kind of bad, though. Yeah, that's kind of stinky. I can't get it right. You're going to end up putting your face in it, and then you're going to say, oh, God, uh, my face is in it. I'm going to be upset if my face is... Yeah. It's kind of a cool light show. Is it? I don't know, honey. So how is how is all your kids doing? All right. Good. We're all feeling the same way. Yeah, I know. The ascension is hitting everybody. And everybody experiences it in a different way. I feel wiped out, John. Me too. Don't you feel like just like fucking fried potatoes? Mm. No one cared, no one cared In a town where I was born No one cared, 
No one cared if you're in your underwear. Very nice. You were hoping to make some music tonight. We could still do it, honey. Let's. We can take a nap and and get up and do it. You got old knives. We used to stay up until fucking four in the morning. Yeah, well, we were drinking espresso and drinking and red wine. Yeah, those were the days, huh? Yeah, and those days are not going to be happening anymore. They can't. I know, honey. I was very proud of you before you tell, talk. I heard you talking to Christopher. I know he heard me talking to Christopher because you were talking to him too. Mm -hmm. I know. Why are you talking to me like a mentally retarded, please? Okay, so you were saying that uh, you, you know, uh, I asked Lena, right? Uh, would you, if given the chance, would you take back the last 10 or 11 years since our reconnection and unknow what you know about your family and unknow the behaviors that you've seen in all of the families surrounding you these past 10 years? If you could take everything back to a time where you didn't know any of that stuff and you were just good old Lena... Uh, you know, walking your dogs or barely able to walk your dogs because you were crippled. Uh, drinking wine every night. Uh, smoking. I had you smoking right at the time. That was me, Lena. Believe me. I was really, really wanting to smoke. Why is that? I just, I told you, just because you're dead don't mean you got smart. <laughs> and I was channeling everything through your body and I was, I took liberties that you were too weak to resist. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it again, knowing what I know now, but we were celebrating. It was the biggest celebration ever. Marlena. It's me and Lena again. I'm back. She hears me. She feels me. And now she sees me too. Gee, you're like the wolf man or something, aren't you? You're you're like um ravenous. Yeah, you're ravenous. You're ravenous. What are you beetles looking at? <laughs> He's crazy about you. Thanks. <laughs> You're all nuts. Mm. What's that make me? So listen, John. Yeah. And and Lena's answer was, no, I wouldn't. I I. It was a crazy, crazy, rocky road, and I wouldn't take it back for a minute. There's nothing to go back to. I would rather know what I know. And move forward than have been blind and not understood why, why my life was the way it was. To think myself a weak, bad, ineffective person. Because I think that's how you felt, like all your dreams were dying. And your father and mother who always were kind of, I told you so, you'd never be anything their their behavior toward you was coming to fruition and that's nothing anybody wants to live mm -mm. not when you've been such an amazing force in this life but you've never really let yourself see that you've had to struggle you had to fight a lot of odds and you're still doing it you're still doing it. No wonder you're tired. No wonder you're emotional. No wonder you're my wife. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. 
And I love you. I love you too. And you still don't believe it. I believe you. So if you say this to me, I believe you. When I believe it about myself, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> I'm right there in the front row, baby. All right, right there. I got front row seats to this movie because this is the movie, baby. All right. Well, you think so? I think I still think it's Francis Ha. Mm. So yeah, if you haven't seen Francis Ha, we we posted a free link. It's so fucking good. Just watch it. You will love it. Just the way we love and i love you john i love you beatles i love all the brothers and sisters all the brethren all the children mother and father my god keep helping me you guys because i need it so much <laughs> and i'll do whatever i can i promise i'll do my best and tomorrow's another day tomorrow's another day